All right. So let's go ahead and um, start in a comfortable seat today, tonight, whatever that is for you. You can kind of rock back and forth, find your sit bones underneath you. Close the eyes down. And when you close the eyes, you can bring that inner focus right in between your eyebrows. And this space is known as our third eye or just our higher self, higher conscious awareness. And then connect to your breath in and out of the nose. And allow your breath to help you land right here, right now. Our breath is a bridge for us to connect our mind and our body to help us de-stress and to get present. So from here, let's take another deep breath in and deep breath out. And then slowly open your eyes. And from this seat, I wanna have you bring your hands onto your rib cage. And we're just going to work on our breath a little bit, moving our rib cage and our spine with our breath. So hands are on the rib cage. And like an accordion on the inhale, we're gonna puff our ribs open, open the chest, fill up with air, and then exhale, collapse and kind of contract the ribs. So on the inhale, you help them open. Exhale, contract. And we'll do that about 10 times. Feel your chest open. Shoulder blades moving. Good, here for three, two, and one. And then drop the fingertips down by your side, lengthen the spine, take a deep breath in, and deep breath out. And then inhale, reach your right arm up and over. We'll breathe into the side ribs. Come back to center, we'll switch sides, left arm up and over. And then come back to center, connect your fingertips to the ground again. Feel that link through your spine, reach out of the top of your head. Inhale. And exhale. Good, go ahead and open the eyes, move into a tabletop position. On hands and knees, and we'll start with a few rounds of cat-cow. Drop the belly, gaze up, curl and press away. So move your spine with your breath. And again, Pay attention to your rib cage. Open and contract. And then come back to a neutral spine. 
And on the inhale, we'll reach the right arm up for spinal twists. Exhale, thread the right arm through, lower the head down. Try to gaze up towards the sky. And then release this side, press back to center. And we'll switch sides. So left arm up. Exhale, thread the arm through. Lower the head down. Turn towards the, the ceiling. Keep your hips up. And use the ground to help you twist. And we'll release this side, come back to center. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Tuck your toes under, we'll come up for downward facing dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Stretch your calves and hamstrings. Deep breaths. Now on the inhale, we're gonna rock forward to a plank. So stack your shoulders over your wrists. And then on the exhale, we'll press back to down dog. Let's do that three more times. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. One more time, forward. And then press back to your down dog. Maybe take a little step in with your toes. So you can get a really nice stretch through the back side of the body. Now this time we're gonna stay in down dog and lift the heels and then press the heels down. So keep your hips high as you lift heels, lower back down. And one more time, lift heels and lower back down. And then lift your heels again to lower the, down to the knees. And we'll move into a modified plank. So you might want to scoot your knees back a couple inches from tabletop so you can drop your hips. And you have this long line from the top of your head all the way down to your knees. It's your option if you want to keep your feet down or if you want to lift the feet up back behind you. We're going to do five um, modified push-ups. So on the exhale, you'll press halfway down. Inhale, press back up. Three, two, and one. Nice job, lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, hands stay right under the shoulders. And then inhale, lift for your cobra. So cobra is more in your upper back than in your arms. So just let your arms support you, your hands, and then relax. Inhale, press and lift. Using the back muscles, open the chest, relax. One more time, lift up. And relax. Press over your knees. Take a child's pose with knees wide, toes touching. Reach the arms forward, lower the head down. And just take a couple deep breaths here to reset. Then lift your head and look forward. From your child's pose, we're gonna do moving cat-cow. 
So inhale, come up, drop the belly. Exhale, curl and round back. A wave-like motion with the spine. We'll do two more. Gripping with the palms and the fingertips. And then the next time you come up, you'll tuck the toes under and transition back up to your down dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Then we'll walk our hands and feet together. Take as many steps as you need. Little bend in the knees, grab opposite elbows, and we'll just sway side to side. <sighs> Might feel nice to even sigh out the mouth. A reminder to your nervous system that it's okay to relax. We're at the end of the day. It's time to let go of stress. And come back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Maybe a little shake of the head side to side to release tension in the neck. Inhale, exhale, let's fold back down. And then curl the spine up to standing. From standing, just do a little bend in your knees and then stand back up. Just gonna bend and stand. Good. Now this next one, reach your arms up. And we're going to go right into a chair pose. So bend your knees, sink your hips. Pull your belly in. Maybe you can lift your toes. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, straighten the legs, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Curl and rise back up to standing. Reach your arms overhead. Exhale, into heart center. Inhale. And exhale. So from standing, we're gonna step our right foot back and let's go ahead and lower the knee down. So if you need to use your hands at all you can, we're gonna move right into a low lunge. So our left foot forward, our right foot back. And we're just gonna pulse the hips forward and back. Inhale, easing out of it. Exhale, sinking in. Pull the abs in. Don't let your pelvis tilt too far forward. And then keep that neutral, um, neutral spine. Reach the arms up overhead. And on the exhale, we'll twist right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, swoop your arms back up overhead. Maybe you can look up this time. And then exhale, swing the arms out by your side. Bring the hands down to the top of your mat. Lift your back knee up. Step your left foot back for plank. You can lower to the knees if you, into, if you need to. We're going to flow through. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift for cobra, maybe a little higher this time. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. 
Deep breath in and out. Look forward, walk to the top of your mat. Find a halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, curl up to standing, reach the arms. Exhale to heart center. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Now we'll step the left foot back and we'll start to lower the knee down. So do that however you need to. Right into a low lunge. Inhale, hips back. Exhale, hips forward. One more. Good, inhale, arms up overhead. And then exhale, twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, swoop the arms up overhead, look up. Exhale, hands down, top of the mat. Lift your back knee. Step back for your plank. Inhale. Exhale, lower to the belly. And this time, we're going to bring hands down by our sides. You can rest the chin down or you can look off to either side. Exhale the air out. And on the inhale, we're going to lift our arms, our chest, our legs, and just hold here at the top. Take a couple of breaths as you strengthen the back side of the body, lengthen through the front. Three more breaths. And then bring your hands back under your shoulders, press up and back. Downward facing dog. Start with your big toes touching and down dog. And we'll practice our three legged dog. So reach right leg up. Maybe roll out the ankle. Get that nice split stretch behind you. And then lower the right leg down. Lift the left leg. Keep lifting. Feel that stretch through your right side. Then lower the left foot down. Look forward. Walk to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Fold forward. Curl up to standing. Reach your arms. Exhale, the heart center. Deep breath in and out. From standing, we're going to step our right foot back to warrior one. So this time you turn the heel down. You're going to get long from the top of your head to the back heel. Make sure your abs are engaged. You have that neutral spine. And then we'll float the arms up, biceps by the ears. You can make fists for a little more muscle energy. I'm gonna hold here for about five breaths. Try to stay with your breath. Now, release hands behind the back. Squeeze your shoulders. 
Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, step your right foot forward to meet your left. And then open the chest. Reach the hands away from the low back. Take another full breath and then release. You'll notice how that feels. Should have got the heart rate increased. So we'll switch sides. Step left foot back, turn the heel down. Hinge forward, long spine. Check in with your hips, with your abs. Find that long line and then hold for five breaths. And interlace fingertips behind the back. Squeeze your shoulders, open the chest. Step your left foot forward to meet the right. And again, we'll do a standing back bend, heart opener. And then relax your arms and just fold forward to stretch your low back. Maybe you can get your fingertips under your toes. Shake your head out. Curl the spine back up to standing. Inhale. And exhale. Then move your feet um, together. So your big toes are touching. On the inhale, you're gonna reach your arms up overhead. Try to lift your right leg up for balance on the left leg. And then on the exhale, we're gonna open up for warrior two. So right foot will step back. We'll bend into the left knee, get straight and strong through the right. And then settle into your warrior two. Gaze over the left fingertips. Again, we're gonna take about five deep breaths. Feel the sensations of holding. Inhale, and exhale. Straighten your front leg. Now take just a little step in with your back foot. Bring your hands to your hips and we'll move into a triangle pose. Hinging forward at the left hip. And then we'll drop all the way into triangle. Left hand down the leg. Reach right arm up. And maybe you can look up. Breathe into your left inner thigh. And anywhere else you're feeling the stretch. Through the right side body. Use your abs to pull back into your warrior two. Inhale, we'll reverse warrior, so opposite side body stretches. And then step to the top of your mat. Take a breath. Inhale your arms up. Lift your left leg, balance on, on your right side. 
And then step the left foot back, open the hips for warrior two on the other side. And feel into your pose, feel into both legs, strengthening, feel into your arms, extending into a straight line, forward and back. Gaze over your right fingertips. Take a few more breaths. Good. Inhale. And exhale, straighten your front leg. Move your left foot in a couple inches. For a triangle, we'll hinge over the right hip, staying long on both sides of the body, and then come back up to center. And we'll move into full triangle, right hand down the leg, left arm up, breathe into right hamstring, Pull yourself back up to standing, reach into your warrior two, and then inhale, right arm up for reverse warrior. Release, reverse warrior, step to the top of the mat. Pause, notice your left side, notice your right side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back and pulse your legs up and down. So inhale, lift, exhale, pulse. One more time. Good. Lift your left arm up for a twist. You'll look to the left. Breathe into your left glute and outer hip. And then release your left hand down on the inside of the left foot. And then lower your back knee down for runner's lunge. So we're stretching that left hip crease and moving that left foot out to the left along with the knee. And again, we'll just add some little pulses forward and back. Nice job. Step that left foot back so you're in that modified plank again on your knees. Good. Now take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to lower down to the belly. Untuck the toes. Lift your heart. Hold cobra. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out, release down. Press up and back for a downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Good. 
and look forward, walk your hands and feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. And then we're gonna switch right to the other side. So step your left foot back. Pulse the hips up and down from your fingertips. Inhale, lift, exhale, sink. Reach the right arm up. Breathe into your right hip. Release both hands on the inside of the right foot. You'll lower the back knee down. Move the right foot out to the side to stretch your right hip in runner's lunge. So just kind of pulse the hips forward and back again. Then we'll slide the right foot back, move back into your modified plank. Now let's move into a side plank variation. So your left hand is gonna to come to the center of your mat. You're gonna turn your left foot back behind you, extend the right leg and reach the right arm up and over. Feel that long side body stretch. Release this side, come back into your modified plank. And then right hand to center, turn to the left. Extend the left leg, reach up and over. Very nice, release this side, come back into your modified plank, and then lower down to the belly. Now from the belly, you're gonna roll off to, like roll to your right side. For a quad stretch, right hand reaches for the right foot. Drop the knee towards the bottom of the mat. You could also do this on your belly, it's just a little, more gentle on your side, makes it more accessible to grab the foot. Good, release, roll to the other side. So you're gonna roll to the left. Left hand reaches for left foot. Drop the knee down, pull your abs in. And then release this side from your belly. Press up to um, child's pose, knees wide, toes touching. Do a little stretch for your low back. Then you're gonna curl up in a kneeling position on your knees, you can tuck your toes under for a little bit more support. For camel pose, you'll bring fingertips up the low back and try to open the chest. As you move the hips forward, you can stay here or you can try to work back for your heels.
either one you'll want to feel the front side of the body open and stretch and then use your abs to pull back up untuck your toes swing your legs forward so you're in a seat on your mat and we're going to start with butterfly pose so feet together knees wide take a deep breath in as you lengthen the spine and then exhale lean forward to stretch your hips and low back I just slowly come back up, extend your left leg out to the side, flex your foot, left hand goes, left arm goes down the left leg, reach your right arm up and over, open the chest. Slowly come up. We're going to twist towards the right. So over that bent knee. Lengthen through your spine. And release the side. Switch your legs out. Extend the right leg. Bend the left. Right arm reaches down, left arm lifts up and over. And then come back up to your tall seat, twist over the bent knee to the left. Very nice, release this side. We're gonna come down to our backs and take a drink if you need one. So laying flat on the back, the feet are flat, the knees are bent. The inhale, we're gonna curl up the spine into a bridge pose. Hold at the top as you press the arms down, lift your hips up. Take five deep breaths. Feel your hamstrings, your glutes, inner thighs. Then start to roll the spine back down. Pause at the bottom, take a breath. Then move your feet all the way together. Lift your right leg up to a tabletop. And on the inhale, you're gonna to try to lift your hips up in a single leg bridge. Hold at the top for three breaths. So we're isolating the left hamstring, left glute. And then roll back down. Place the right foot down. Lift the left leg up, roll up the spine, hold for three breaths.
Roll back down the spine. Release the left foot. Take a deep breath in and out. And one more time, pressing through both feet, you'll lift the hips high. And exhale, roll the spine down. Hug the knees into the chest and massage right to left across the low back. And then come back to center. You're gonna extend the left leg long, squeeze the right knee in, and then extend your right leg up to the ceiling, roll out the ankle. and stretch the right hamstring. That's okay if there's a little bend in the knee. We're gonna reach the arms out to our sides and we're gonna draw a figure eight with our right leg, moving the hips along with it. So go down the midline, lift your right hip as you swing out to the left, pull back to sit center, Go down the midline again and then swing out to the right. So just imagine drawing a figure eight and your hips are moving. Your right hip is moving with the right leg. But your abs are strong. And if it feels better to do this with a bent knee, you could also do this at a 90 degree angle. Should feel really nice for the low back. One more time. And then bend your right knee and hug the right leg up into the chest, like a pigeon pose, reclined pigeon, and rock side to side. Then slowly release the right leg and pause just for a moment. Notice your right side compared to your left. Switching sides. Hug the left knee up and in, big squeeze. Extend the left leg to the ceiling. Roll out the ankle. Drop your arms out by your side. Go down your midline. Lift the hip over to the right. Swing the leg. And then out to the left. So even though your hip is lifting, it's a slow and controlled movement. And we're really just massaging the left leg in the hip socket. And then we'll move into reclined pigeon. Bend the left knee, hug the shin across your chest. Rock side to side.
So I release the left leg down. Pause for a moment on your back. Notice how the legs feel. And then reach your arms up overhead. Take a full body stretch. And on the exhale, you're gonna curl yourself up to a seat. Plant your feet hip width distance apart. And we'll do some reverse tabletops. Fingertips facing you. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the hips. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, lower. Let's do four more. On the last one, we'll hold up the top. Five deep breaths. Three, two, and one. Lower down, crisscross your feet. Come into a tabletop position. And we're gonna stretch our wrists the opposite way. So turn your palms facing up, fingertips facing you. A little release on our wrists. And then we're gonna come down to our forearms for a forearm plank. You can either just move your knees back, keep it modified, or you can lift the knees, hold your strong forearm plank for about 10 breaths. Nice long line through the body. And then start to lower down to the belly. Now we're gonna keep our forearms down for Sphinx Pose. It feels a little different than Cobra because we're using the entire forearm to press down. And then maybe you can start to press into your hands, lift the elbows. Only do this if it feels okay for your low back. And you can also adjust your hands out further so it's not as much of an arch. And then slowly relax. You're gonna bring your hands to a pillow Rest your forehead there. Take a deep breath in and out. And make sure your legs are together. We're gonna do a few leg um, motions here. So keeping the head down, you're gonna lift your legs, bend the knees. You're gonna point, flex, point, kicking in towards your butt. And then extend your legs back behind you. Try to lift the kneecaps and thighs off the ground. And then relax. Okay, so we'll do that again. Kicking into the butt. Point. Flex. Point. Extend the legs back behind you. And relax. Let's do that three more times. Point. Flex. Point. Extend and reach, relax, point, flex, point, extend and reach, and relax. 
Last one, point, flex, point, extend and reach, and relax. Take a breath. Now we'll keep our feet and legs down this time. And maybe move your feet oh, hip width distance so you have a little bit more stability. We're going to be focusing more on the upper body this time. So from your pillow position, see if you can lift your elbows, your hands, and your head. And then you're going to swoop your arms out like you're doing a breaststroke. So you're going to swoop out all the way down to the hips. Come back to center into the pillow position and then relax down. Okay, so let's try that again. Lift head, shoulders, chest. Extend, swoop the arms back. Squeeze. Come back to start. Relax the head down. We'll do three more. Inhale, lift, swoop it back, center, relax. Lift, swoop, center, relax. Lift, swoop, center, relax. One more. We might have added one. <laughs> Swoop, center, and relax. All right, let's get off of our belly. It's important to stretch the low back. So let's move into child's pose. And really take some deep breaths into your low back there. Reach your arms over to the right. Bring your head with you. Stretch the left low back. And come up. Walk your hands over to the left. Stretch your right side, your right low back. Come back to center, find a seat, swoop your legs out in front of you. Another great stretch for low back is to lean forward. So straight legs, hinge forward at the hips. Breathe. Really flex and lift your toes. And come up, bend your right knee, hug with your left arm, bring right hand behind you for twists. Release this side, switch sides, hug your left knee with your right arm. Release this side. We'll lay flat on the back. A couple times, turn the toes in and out, legs in and out. Finish with the toes falling out to the side. And get comfortable here. We'll go piece by piece to get the full body to relax. Starting at the feet.
Take a deep breath in and on the exhale, feel your feet relax. Moving up to the shins and calves. Take a deep breath in. Feel your calves and shins relax. Moving up to the knees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, feel the knees relax. to the thighs and hamstrings. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hamstrings, cat, hamstrings, thighs, relax. Moving up to the pelvis and the hips. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, feel your hips and pelvis relax. Moving up to the belly. Take a deep breath in. Feel your belly and your internal organs, your intestines, your kidneys, your liver, all relax. And moving up to the heart, take a deep breath in. Exhale, relax the heart, the rib cage, the lungs, the diaphragm. Let it all relax. Moving up to the shoulders, inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders, down the biceps, elbows, forearms, out to the wrists and fingers. Feel your entire arm relax. And moving up to the head, take a deep breath in. Exhale, feel your skull, your brain, your neck, your eyes, your tongue, your cheeks. Feel everything relax. Now take another deep breath in. And on the exhale, feel your entire body relax. And take a few more deep breaths to feel your full body relax. Notice what it feels like to have a calm, relaxed nervous system. Keep your body in this 
relaxed state as you move out of your practice. Wiggle fingers and toes. Take deep breaths. And take your time to come up and out of relaxation. Beautiful practice. Hopefully you feel calm and rejuvenated, ready for the rest of the week ahead. Namaste. Oh, yeah.